video that I would do a more dramatic Valentine's Day look so this is what I'm doing um, and I really like how it turned out I used false lashes for the first time on camera and they actually turned out okay they're really hard to do so I did the second one off of camera but yeah I just used pretty much all makeup geek eyeshadows and then I used an Anastasia Beverly Hills lipstick like always but yeah I hope you guys enjoy this video and if you like this look just keep on watching to start off the base of this look, I'm going to start to prime my face with MAC Fix Plus. And then I'm going to take my beauty blender and I'm just going to blend that into my skin just so it's not all wet and gross. And then I'm going to pick up my NYX Angel Veil Primer and I'm just going to smooth that all over my entire face just to also prime my face further with more moisture and so the makeup doesn't slick around throughout the day. For foundation, I'm going to use Maybelline Matte and Poreless in shade 115, and I have red undertones, like very pink undertones, and this one has a more reddish undertone, but I found that it was a little too orange for my skin, so maybe I should go down to 110, but I think 110 is a little bit more yellow toned, but yeah, so I kind of just looked a little orange, but I put bronzer on my neck after all, just to make it match. And here I'm just going in with my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in 15 Fair. And I'm just going to put that in triangle shape underneath my eyes and I'm just going to blend back and forth to prevent from creasing. This is one of my favorite concealers. I find that it gives me a nice luminous under eye and it makes me look very awake and nice bright under eye. To set my under eye concealer, I'm going to take my Maybelline Fit Me Powder in 110. It's very light. And I'm going to take this big Sigma brush and I'm just going to put that all over my under eyes just to prevent creasing. And then whatever's left on the brush, I will take and put on my T-zone just so I don't get oily throughout the day. I went ahead and did my eyebrows off of camera like usual and then I picked up Makeup Geek Petal Pusher and I just started to blend that into my crease very softly just to get a nice transition down and I just went back and forth and in circular motions like always just to get, get the best blendability that I could and just so that all the other shades blend seamlessly over top. The shade's a very soft dusty mauve shade that's why I use it for my transition color just so it's a nice mellow shade before I go in with the more pops of pink. And now here I'm going to pick up Tuscan Sun by Makeup Geek and I'm going to do the exact same thing. Um, just back and forth and in windshield wiper motions and also in circular motions just slightly below petal pressure just to add more depth and more pop of color. After that's to my desired blendability, I'm going to take up Anarchy by Makeup Geek again and I'm just going to put that all over the outer corner and bring that onto the lid. I'm going to make this very soft because I don't want it to be too much shimmer because this does have a slight sheen in the shadow, but I want just a nice darker outer corner and onto the lid. Now I'm going to pick up Bitten by Makeup Geek as well and I'm going to take this MAC 217 brush and I'm just going to start to pack that into the outer corner and lightly blend it out. And I went back in again after these clips and I just deepened the color because I wanted it to be very very dark on the outer corner but I also want it to be blend out and not harsh. I also go back in with the first blending brush I used and I just blend out all the shadows just so they're nice and seamless and I don't have any harsh lines. Now for the star of the show, I'm going to pick up Grandstand by Makeup Geek, and this is a super intense high shine shadow, and I find that it has, it's like a brown, but a pinky brown. It has more pink undertones, but it's still a neutral shade, and I'm going to take that on my MAC 242, and I'm going to pack that all over the lid. I'm going to start by packing, and then I'm going to go side to side in swiping motions, and then I didn't think that it had enough pigment to my liking for what I wanted for this look, so I went in with MAC Fix Plus, and I sprayed my brush and then I went back in and packed the shadow one again and it really intensified the shadow and that's a really good trick if you want your shadows to be very high shine and like bam in your face. Now I'm going to go back in with the Makeup Geek Bitten and I'm going to take a flat definer brush and I'm just going to start to define my lower lash line and just going to blend that out. 
I'm going to take the second darkest shade that I was using earlier, which was Anarchy, and I'm going to take this BH Cosmetics thick pencil brush, and I'm just going to really blend out all the colors that I put underneath my eyes on my lower lash line. I'm just going to blend that out because I want it to be very smoked out and very sultry. With a really small brush, I went into the Becca and Jaclyn Hill face palette and I took Rosé Spritz and I took Champagne Pop and I mixed those together to get this really nice champagne light pink shade and I popped that into my inner corners and then I went over it with just Champagne Pop. Now I'm picking up this Clarins mascara and I'm just going to lightly coat my lashes and I'm going to use false lashes so I don't want to curl my lashes because that will make it very difficult to pop on the false lashes and I'm going to go in with these natural lashes by Ardell and I'm just going to take my tweezers and I'm going to take the um, duo lash glue the black one and that one actually smells really disgusting so I do not recommend it all and I'm going to pop that onto my lashes I'm going to do most of this off camera and really fast because I'm really horrible at putting on lashes as you can tell I do not know what I'm doing but that's fine I'm gonna keep practicing and learning because the more practice the better obviously so yeah so just bear with me and don't judge at all please after I do my lashes, I'm going to pick up Too Faced Milk Chocolate Soleil Bronzer and I'm going to take this blush brush by Real Techniques and I'm just going to put an all over bronze all over my cheekbones and my chin and my forehead and I'm just going to use this big ass brush because I don't want it to be a harsh bronze. I want it to be an all over bronze for this look because I want it to be very sexy and like blown out. I don't want it to be very like harsh cheekbones or like harsh jawline. And then I'm going to take e.l.f. Mellow Mauve blush and I'm going to take this little Sephora brush and I'm just going to pop that onto the apples of my cheeks very lightly and I'm just going to slightly blend that out because I have rosacea and I don't like to wear too much blush because I can end up looking a clown very very fast but yeah I'm just gonna pop that on very slightly and then I'm gonna go back in with the Becca and Jaclyn Hill face palette I'm gonna pick up champagne pop and I'm just gonna put that all over the high points of my face like usual and I really like this highlight I just I don't really like super intense highlights but when I use a fan brush it really blends it out and makes it look really nice and now I'm gonna take soar by Mac and I'm gonna line my lips with that all over and I really like this lip liner. It's one of theirs that I find isn't super drying and actually shows up really pigmented. When I use stone it always comes out super dry and barely pigmented and it just kind of feels gross on my lips. And then I'm going to take Anastasia Craft liquid lipstick. This used to be very popular like about two years ago and I'm just going to pop that all over my lips. And I really like the formula of Anastasia liquid lipsticks. I find them very, not runny, but they're very liquidy so they're easy to put on and they're easy to fix if you get them wrong. So yeah, I'm just going to put that all over my lips and I think it really complements the look. That's it for the video guys. I hope you guys enjoy this look as much as I do and I hope you guys recreate it. And if you do, please tag me in your photos and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Bye guys!